Welcome to the Art English University. Today we're gonna learn what kind of environments to learn English. Here are two environments to learn English. One is we call ESL. The other one is we call EFL. ESL is called English as a Second Language. Schools will often use the term ESL when describing the programs that educate students who are not native speakers. On the other hand, English as a Foreign Language is a called EFL is a traditional term for the use or study of the English language by non-native speakers in countries where English is generally not a local medium of communication. Let's compare the what are the differences between ESL and EFL. So we already learn what is you know full name in between two. So one is English as a second language. It's a refer to teaching and learning English in a country where English is already main or the official language. ESL is the taught and learned academically. So the kids who are living in United States and Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, they learn English as ESL environment. The other one is we call EFL. Its the full name is English as a Foreign Language. It's to teaching and learning English in a country where English is not the language of the main majority. So the kids who are living in South Korea and Japan, Taiwan, China, Thailand, they are learning English as a foreign language. Now today, many scholar studies how to teach the English to the other country kids. So there are several, you know, the way of teaching style. One is called balance to teach language. Let's look at the what is the balance approach teaching style. Actually, this one is uh, combined two different one. One is full language, or the other one is phonics. So they combine full language style and then phonics combine together to make a balanced approach. Here is the detail of the balanced approach. So here is one of the way is how to use the phonics to the you know two different pyramid you can see the two different pyramid here so left side of the pyramid is start from the story and sentence vocabulary text so when you look at the you know the tree so you can see the whole tree so left side of the you know the pyramid it called the you know story and sentence vocabulary, text. So you go to the you know, story first and then go inside sentence and go to the more small one and then vocabulary and text. So on the other hand, you can see the you know, right side of the pyramid is that from the top is text and vocabulary, sentence and story. So you teach the text first and vocabulary and sentence and make a story. So 
you see the two different style of the pyramid. One is from the big tree, and the other one is from the you know branch. So you can teach the you know alphabet and vocabulary, improve the you know sentence, and then you can see the you know whole story. The other one, left side, you just see the you know story first, and then keep going to the break the small one. So two, it's a two different style of the you know teaching. So we call this kind of thing is balanced approach teaching style. Here are three uh, teaching instructions. One is contents based instruction. Second one is daily routine instruction. Third one is total physical response, we call the TPR. So in 21st century, there are three kind of teaching, you know, English instructions. Uh, this video shows what is or how to teaching the you know, contains based instruction through the, this video. Contents based instruction is approach in language education. It's designed for the you know second language learner instructions in contents and language. So it's include the contents that give us the information of the knowledge to the teachers and teach and the students I expect to learn in many subjects include English, language arts, and mathematics, science, or social study. You can watch this video clip that shows what is the daily routine instruction to teach the English. Daily routine is one of the instruction to teach the English in daily you know, language. It's a good activity to practice the vocabulary of the daily routine. So everyday English is mean is common words that used in daily base. Not big words to write you know in essay uh, daily you know routine english is we use the language from the our simply communication and conversation and in daily every day this one is we call the total physical response tpr so this teacher showed how to teach the English with this TPR instruction. And total physical response is method of teaching language or vocabulary concept by the using physical movement to teach the you know, verbal input. So we have the more body, we use the more body to use the, the, you know, this you know, total physical response. Last, uh, one of the you know, teaching English instruction is English through the art. So that's you want to learn how to teach the English through the art to your kids. So last video clip will help you uh, what is the differences between you know the, the others so i hope you enjoy you know learning this for different uh, teaching english instructions in this term this video clip title is 
Learn English and express yourself through the art. So English through art. So you can watch this video clip. How differences between the others? English through the art. Teaching English through the art is one of the teaching English instruction. It's a unique method to teach the art through the English to your students. Art is an inspiration media, inspiring energetic and creativity response from those who engaged in the art. So it's a powerful uh, teaching instruction that is called English through the art. So we learn what kind of instruction to teach the English. So first one is content-based instruction. Second one is daily routine instruction. Third one is total physical response. And last one, English through the arts. I hope you enjoy learning this chapter. Thank you for the watching the, this video clip. Thank you.